China has twice as many people living in the countryside than the entire population of the United States. It's an enviable customer base on which the Agricultural Bank of China was built. Initially to finance rural cooperatives, it's now a semi-government policy lender serving farmers to help narrow the divide between the rich and the poor. ABC boasts about 350 million customers, more than any other bank in China, as it prepares for what could be the world's largest initial public offering. Chairman Mao Zedong set up the Agricultural Bank of China back in 1951, the first commercial bank set up under the communists. That legacy, though, has been a double-edged sword for the bank. On the one hand, it has more non-performing loans than the other big three state-owned banks, but it also has the broadest reach across China. Agricultural Bank is the most convenient. It has more ATMs and branches than other banks. To save money back home, Agricultural Bank is the most convenient because it's the only bank we can withdraw from. That's why I've been with them for more than 10 years. It's the only bank in my hometown. Investors do, though, have other choices when it comes to the Chinese banking industry. ABC is the least profitable of China's big four state-owned banks, even after receiving a $19 billion cash injection from the government and removing more than 800 billion yuan in bad loans from the balance sheet two years ago. Agricultural banks' capital adequacy ratio of just over 10 percent at the end of last year is below the mandatory minimum set by the banking regulator and can't match the 12.4 percent car of ICBC. Also, ABC's non-performing loan ratio is still nearly double ICBC's. All of China's big state banks have announced plans to raise funds selling shares and bonds this year as record lending last year weakened their capital. It begs the question. Is this bad timing for the ABC IPO? Possibly. Um, the market's been weak, and there's been a lot of m paper coming to the market. So it, it puts a little bit of pressure on pricing. That, however, is of little concern to this Ag Bank customer from rural Guizhou province who got his first ever bank account just a year ago. I like to buy agricultural bank shares, but my personal funds are limited. It's one bank I think has great potential. Potential as well to help him and others in the countryside bridge the widening wealth gap. Stephen Engel, Bloomberg News, Beijing.